Good evening, my name is Titan Laurent. I am the art director of the Laurent Gallery and tonight I'm, I'm really excited because I read something in Two King Tree and the message really spoke to me and actually it made me realize that even when you go through difficulty it's just so easy to make a difference. So just to put you in the context, this is the story in Two Kings Tree. 16 is a story of three kings that have an enemy and they decided to get together and to fight the enemy and they choose the road of the desert. Don't ask me why. It seems like that was the road they know they had to take to fight the enemy. But what happened? In the middle of the desert, they realize they don't have enough water and they're all gonna die, including the animals. So they're freaking out because actually there's no hope. They know it's like kaput finished. So one of the king remember that there were a prophet amongst them. So they quickly, quickly go and see the prophet and say, prophet, prophet, help us. We're all gonna die. Can you please, please, please pray to God? So the prophet prayed and he said, God ask you to dig ditches. And he's letting me know that if you dig these ditches, tomorrow they will be filled with water. Even you don't see any wind, any cloud, any reason why it will rain, the ditches will be filled with water. And on top of that, say God, I'm gonna give victory to your enemy. How fantastic. When I read this story, I feel like my heart is pumping because you know, I often go through a desert like we all do, this is us being human. And I wanna know what it means to, to dig ditches. And when it means the ground, the ditches and receive the water, I wanna know what it means. So next time I cross a desert, or oh, if you are crossing a desert right now, this is the solution. So what is the symbolic meaning of desert? The desert is to go through a place where there's no hope, where there's nothing growing, where there's no water, no animal, no food, just really a hard, painful sun. It's just, it's a hard time. And to give you an example, a desert can be depression. A desert can be being bankrupt, a desert can be a broken marriage, a broken relationship, it can be an addiction, it can be children turning wild, it can be so many different things, but a desert is something that we all know, it's a difficult time, and what we see is there is no solution, no hope. So the other symbolic meaning that I want to study tonight is the ground. What is the symbol of the ground? The ground is actually the symbol of your awareness, of your consciousness. So your awareness is very simple. You believe what you see. So when you go through a desert, it's very simple. You see, you see that it's all kaput. You see that there's no hope. You see that whatever you do, there's no change. You see that it's been hurtful for so long and yet there's nothing you can do and you lose hope. That's what you see, that's your awareness. But what God is asking you to do when you're going through a desert is to dig below what you can see, is to dig below the awareness. And what it means exactly to create ditches. To create ditches is to have hope, is to have faith. If you have faith in your marriage and imagine and seeing your husband or your wife changing, or your relationship changing, or the situation going to another, another situation and actually having hope to have your children turning into amazing human beings, to be healed from your depression, from your anxiety, to have financial provision. This is faith and hope is to see something that doesn't exist yet. 
So instead of speaking doom and imagining the worst scenario, and for some reason, that's what human beings do, they, they always imagine the worst instead of imagining the best. We're creating dishes is to imagine the best, is to have hope, is to have faith in a God that will provide for a solution. And that's it. And I know it's so hard to not rely on our own understanding or on our own awareness when everything is falling apart. But this is what you need to do to create a space for miracle, a space for transformation. So this is the message for you tonight and for me. It's whatever your desert, whatever your situation, even the big drama and the little drama, it's you wire your brain on hope. It's just to speak life where there is no life because this will make a difference in your problem. So I wish you all the best tonight. I wish that you're gonna create lots of ditches everywhere so you can see God filling with the water of his blessing. This is it for tonight. My name is Tita Laurent. This is a message, uh, an amazing message for modern art. And you know, between you and me, if you're not sure about God and Jesus because you don't know how it works, it's very simple. You just have to close your eyes and you say, Jesus, I give you my life. Jesus, I can't do it anymore by myself. I put aside my pride and my ego. I put aside everything. I just give you my life, my marriage, my finance, my problem, my job, my sadness, my children, my boyfriend, everything. I give you my life. Help me. And that's all. It's so easy. So I wish you all the best. Bye-bye for now. God bless you.